How do you choose projects to start learning robotics, computer vision or machine learning? In many of my previous videos, I have emphasized on the fact that the best way to learn a field is to focus on the problem. That is to take up more projects and learn the necessary theory along the way. This is, as you know, better for several reasons. The most important being that of practicality in the sense that you start building a portfolio while you're learning and not after you have completed your learning journey. Moreover, you acquire the right skill set and you learn the tools that are necessary to solve the problem and that are perhaps also being used in the industry. So how do you choose a project? Well, a simple way to do that would be to actually make a quick Google search. You would be able to find a lot of different projects on computer vision, machine learning or robotics. Whether you want to learn ROS or you want to learn OpenCV or you want to learn TensorFlow or PyTorch, there are a lot of projects existing online. So one simple way is to just randomly select any project that just catches your attention and you think that would be of interest to you. This is one way to just get you started so that you don't spend too much time deciding which project to do and actually start doing a project immediately. This is an approach that you can adopt if you have been procrastinating on getting started for quite some time. This would get rid of the resistance and just get you started with your learning journey. A better alternative would be to actually sit down and brainstorm some of the problems that you would be excited to solve. You could also be listing down some of the things that you are curious about and those that you would want to learn. For example, maybe you are just generally interested in image segmentation and you're curious how that works what kind of networks and models are used to segment images. You could just define a simple project for yourself. You want to segment images of people in, in your family photo, for instance, but a project that you defined on your own. And to solve this problem, to complete this project, you will probably need to look for similar projects online, understand some theory and learn some tools if you need to. But since this project is from your own personal interest, you'd be more motivated to actually try and finish this project. To add on top of it, you could actually select a project based on a problem that you're currently facing or an idea that you came up with. We all have mobile phones and laptops embedded with cameras these days. Maybe you study on the laptop and you feel a bit inattentive while watching some of the lectures on your laptop. You could come up with, an, uh, with a computer vision based approach to actually identify your attention and report it to you based on the images acquired from the web camera. Or a project could be based on simple curiosity. Every smartphone is embedded with some sort of facial recognition system. And maybe you could take up a project that allows you to build an application that can be used on the phone to identify faces or identify emotions or maybe speech recognition. Maybe you're curious how artificial intelligence is used to identify and recognize speech. You could define a simple project in that domain likewise. Or perhaps you're fascinated by the Roomba vacuum cleaners and you want to actually build a more hardware related project. You could make a small robot that navigates your house and creates a map of the environment if you're so interested in that. So actually the possibilities to define the projects are endless. And the best way to choose a topic for your project is based out of your own curiosity. If you're curious and interested in a particular problem or a topic, it makes sense that you do a project in that. The idea is that as a beginner, you should try to keep the project as simple as possible. And once you're doing that project, you could expand upon that and add more features into it if that interests you. If you fail to come up with any ideas or anything that you find interesting that you can build simply, you could simply Google it and find the topics as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. But the core message of this video is that to start learning a field, just generate a list of projects for yourself and just start doing one project. And once you are in that process, you already have some momentum and then you are more likely to learn more and do more projects later. So just start doing.